A few days later, the band was walking in town moping about how they couldn't get a golden ticket for Charlie. Tootie was eating one of the half-melted chocolate bars, but he didn't seem to want to finish it. You gonna finish that chocolate bar? No, I'm not in the mood for chocolate. Then why are you eating it? Well, even if I'm sad, I still can't let it go to waste. We all feel the same way. Just then, the four saw Charlie up ahead. Hey, Charlie! Hey, you guys. Hey, we just want to say we're sorry we couldn't find you a golden ticket. It's fine. I'm sure life will be better even without it. Looks like it's back to finding a way to help the buckets for us. Yeah. Say, Charlie, is your boss Mr. Joe Peck looking for new hires? I don't know, but I'll ask him. Thanks, and let him know that we like to apply. Okay, why don't you guys come with me? We can go talk to him when I finish my paper route. Perfect! The band walked with Charlie when suddenly he stopped looking down. What is it, Charlie? In a sewer drain was a shiny silver quarter. Charlie reached down and picked it up while the gorillas watched him. Cool, someone left a quarter. We could use it to spend it on some food. Or, actually, I have a better idea. What? But, Muds, Charlie was the one who found it. We should let him decide what he wants to spend it on. I agree. Okay, Charlie, what's your idea? Charlie and the gorillas walked to the candy shop. While Charlie went inside, the band watched through the window. I'll take one scrim to the lunches bar, please. Thank you, good man. Charlie gave the money to Bill and gave him what he ordered. Charlie started eating away on the bar. Hey, slow down, you're gonna get a stomachache. Well, at least Charlie was able to get some candy. Wait, look! Charlie was about to leave when he turned back to the counter. I think I'll also buy a Wonka bar for my Grandpa Joe. All right, one Wonka bar. Charlie took the bar and exited the shop. Well, Charlie, good on you for thinking so much about your grandfather. Too bad there's no more golden tickets. Just then, a crowd of people were seen up ahead. Hey, what's going on over there? Charlie and the band ran up to the crowd. I can't believe this. Neither can I. A woman was holding a newspaper with the words, Fifth Ticket Fraud. So that ticket was a fake. Then that means the fifth ticket is still out there. Then that could only mean one thing. Murdoch then turned to Charlie. Charlie, open that Wonka bar right now. Murdoch, he bought it for his grandpa. Who cares? Come on, Charlie, open it. Okay, okay. Charlie slowly unwrapped the paper. Then something shiny and golden was peeking through the corner. Charlie finished unwrapping the paper and inside was the final golden ticket. Yes! At that moment, the same woman from the crowd grabbed Charlie by the arm. Hey, this kid found the last golden ticket! The crowd all gathered around Charlie and the gorillas. Wow, this is a miracle. Come on, Charlie, let's go back to your place and tell your family the news. The four all raced home with Charlie when they ran through an alleyway. Suddenly, a man came out of nowhere stopping them. Hey, buddy, what gives? Wait a second, that's a strange man from the news who was talking to all the other kids. What? Didn't you guys pay attention to the news broadcast? Oh, yeah, I remember now. Yes, my name is Arthur Slugworth. Arthur Slugworth? You're the man who... Yes, I've come to make you a deal. Well, whatever it is, we're not interested. Okay, but I just thought I'd let your friend know that Willy Wonka is making a new invention called the Everlasting Gobstopper. And if he succeeds, it will ruin me. Okay, buddy, we hear ya. What do you want Charlie to do? I would appreciate if your friend would bring me one so I can find the secret formula. And if you do this, you'll be given enough money for a new house along with food and comfort for your family and the rest of their lives. Yeah, okay, we gotta go. Come on, Charlie. Charlie and the band then got out of the alleyway. Well, that was something. Charlie, you're not actually going to go along with his plan, are you? I don't know. But if he has the money, your family would need it. Murdoch, even if he does have money, there's no way Charlie is stealing from Wonka. Yeah, you wouldn't do that, would you, Charlie? No, never. Fine, let's go.